The next source of funding is uh, the preference shares. We calculate the marginal cost of preferred stock. Preferred stock. How do you calculate that? That is K KP okay will be equal to um will be equal to cost will be equal to dp dp over over pp okay minus rotation cost minus rotation cost so we go to the question what is the dividend so learners the preference dividend from not number two is 12 percent this 12 percent has to be applied on the power value the power value is 20 shillings times 20 over the market price per preference share the market price is 18 shillings minus the flotation cost the flotation cost we are not provided flotation cost per share but we can determine it we have the total flotation cost of 150 150000 is the total flotation cost for all the shares then we divide by the number of shares 5 75,000. This will give us the flotation cost per share. Flotation cost per share 150 divided by 75, which is equal to 2 shillings. So, flotation cost is 2 shillings. 2 shillings. So, with that, we can determine the cost of preference shares. That will be 12% of 12% times 20 divided by 16. This is equal to uh, 0 0.15, which is equal to 15%. That is the marginal cost of preference shares. Then the third, the third source of Capital one, two, three debentures cost of cost of debentures cost of debentures KD is equal to the interest one minus T over 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 the market price of debentures. KV, can call it KV, KV, okay, KV, which is equal to the interest, the interest debentures, not number three, issue eighteen percent debentures with a power value of a hundred at eighty. So the interest here is eighteen percent percent uh, times the power value of 100 shillings 100 shillings divide by the cost uh, the power value of debenture is uh, is uh, the, the market price this should be the market price the market price is 80 shillings do you have flotation cost no then 1 minus corporation tax 0 0.3 0 0.3 so this should give us the cost of debentures 18 percent times 100 times 0.7 divided by 80 this is equal to 15.75 percent that's the cost of debentures. Then the cost of long-term debt, 
cost, marginal cost of long term debt. Long term debt. Long term debt. KD will be equal to interest over VD 1 minus T. 1 minus T. So this is the market price of the long term debt. VD, let me be uniform. This should be VD, VD, VD. This is the market price. The market price per debenture, the market price per the long term debt. Now, what is the interest? Uh, not number four. Borrow 5 million, 18% long term debt. The flotation cost is 200,000. So here, KD will be equal to the interest. The interest is 18% times times uh, the total flotation cost is 200. Borrow 5. Do you have any other information on no so any information on the long term debt? So the interest is five million eighteen percent of five million. That would be the interest. Then V D borrow. 5 million so the vd this will be, should be minus flotation cost we have flotation cost there this we have flotation cost so this will be 5 million minus the 200000 here we are working with the totals we are working with the totals then of course we have one minus t that is 1 minus 0 0.7 1 minus 0 0.3 so this will be equal to 18% uh, times 5 million times 0.7 Times 0 0.7, 630,000 divided by, divided by, this is 2 million or 200,000. This is 200,000, 200,000, that is 200,000. So we are dividing that by 48. Four million eight hundred. Okay. So here, calculator has given me right away. This is zero point one three, which is equal to thirteen percent. 